Sister Dori, next time you must come with. Yeah? And Joshua, thank you for sharing your dad with us. It's not your dad only, but it's also ours. I'm no so shy over <laughs> I'm so shy now. Come on, then. come on, <laughs> okay. No, I can't even so over I am not a woman of many words. <laughs> 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 I'm just joking. Uh, but I write something for you. Yeah. Okay. You're very special to us. Thank you. Really. Thank you. And we dearly, dearly, dearly love you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And it's very great to have you over here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Amen. This is uh, for me. Okay. This is your sister Curtin, eh? And Joss. <laughs> we love you. Thank you. We love Thank you, you very much. Thank you. God bless you. What if I call the other Joss? We're juniors. They are too big. They are too big. They're too big. They are too big. They are too big. Yes. <laughs> yeah, over here. Uh, this is a token of our appreciation. Amen. Um, as the PO Ministry was for myself. Amen. And that we really, uh, you have taught us the sisters. Yes. And you have taught, you have taught us that your faithfulness in God, your trustworthiness, mm -hmm. your obedience unto God, your diligence mm -hmm. and your compassion we have had to be dedicated mm -hmm. unto the Lord. And I think all of us can share that because mm -hmm. that is what is in our hearts. Mm -hmm. And really, uh, um, we just want to say, I just want to say, uh, obviously, that I really love you. Thank you. And I really uh, uh, salute you for being my overseer as well as everybody's yes. overseer. Yes. <coughs> Sometimes I thank you so, so few words, mm -hmm. but really it's, it, may, it means such a lot. Thank you, thank you. You, can, you can't even express the thank you. But really, uh, um, to come all this way, you could have given up on us. Yeah. And so, because we have hurt you in the past, we have, we have a strangling going on. You could have given up, but that's something inside of you that was driven by the Holy Spirit that kept you going on. And we just say thank you for, for you over here for standing also with us in this past 10 years. So this is it's not a big present, but Wherever you go, you just think of South Africa. Always. Yeah, enjoy your Always. Thank you very much. God bless you. And this, uh, 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 uh. Sister Dory, this is for you. It might be small, but it's so worthy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nee, <laughs> <laughs> So wherever you go, when you, it's glittering on your ears, you just think on South Africa. We <laughs> love you, Sister Doreen. Thank you for releasing the overseer to us here in Booster. We love him with all our hearts, with the agape love of the Lord. And we just want to say we be blessed. And as Sister Mersha Cochran, I really salute you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank God, first of all, for getting me here. As you know, the difficult time that we had um, with the flight, having been hit by a de-icer and then having to stay into Abu Dhabi for the time there and then in Durban for three hours and then the lightning that hit the plane um, as I was coming from Durban to Cape Town and all of these different things that have happened. Nevertheless, the enemy knew that he had already lost the battle. Amen. And I would like to thank um, my wife for her prayers and support, which um, um, especially over the last two years and nine months, she has stood very firm with me and we have made it together. And we thank God for that. And as I said to you, that um, sometimes um, your circumstances teach you um, several things. And one thing I have learned about my circumstances is that, is that my wife is my best friend. Yes. And that um, uh, I have renewed, or we have renewed our love for each other. And I truly, truly love her. And um, I want to thank my mother and uh, our mother Cornelius and those who have labored in prayer um, when the times were very, very difficult and hard. And of course, I salute my apostle, apostle, George Akalolu, and I hope, I, I pray uh, that, that he would have the opportunity to come and you would see him, a man of great humility and a man that understand his times and know what to do in the hour and the time <coughs> when the body of Christ needs uh, a father's care and a father's um, 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 wisdom. And um, I thank my children also who stood very much with us and, um, and, and last of all, I thank you. I, I, uh, uh, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, I have always and will always love South Africa. I, I, uh, I always say to people back home, if I have to live any place outside of the United Kingdom, it have to be South Africa. They know that. <laughs> they know that. They know that. They know it's my heart. And uh, when I say that, America then says, no, you have to come home. <laughs> but um, people would have to come here and experience you people, your love, your, your, your hospitality, and, and your kindness. And unless one experiences that for themselves, it's very difficult to sort of tell people about it. Sister um, 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 Carl was saying to me a few minutes ago, it's so, it would be so difficult to explain to people the service this morning, unless you were there yourself. It's very hard for us to tell them. You know, and, and I, I don't know if you felt when the wind of God passed through this morning, when the anointing started to flow, um, the lady who was with the camera, she says, it's when the hands were put and tied that mm. she felt the anointing. Other people felt it from the time that the oil was put on the head. And, and there were those when, the, when God said, anoint the feet. I mean, the wind of God was so powerful. Mm. And God, and I said this with uh, Pastor Archie and, and Pastor uh, um, Marlene, that God has cleared the way. Amen. Your yesteryears of the PO ministry are closed. Amen. 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 We have done finally today what needed to be done. Yes. And the doors of the past are closed. Yes. And we move into our season. Yes. This is that season. Amen. And I believe that the time has now come when uh, the pastors will call us in London to tell us about both the growth and what God is doing here in South Africa. Amen. I was saying to uh, share with him a moment ago that immediately after we've done uh, our ordination in, in Kenya, 
Nakuru in Kenya, the PEO ministry there, and we appointed the pastor.